And I'm not, I'm not negating away from what he did, but to say that, like, everybody I know, I'm for sure, is more powerful than the niggas he know. Wow. Period. Every nigga I know is more powerful than the niggas he think he know. Is that just... So I don't need him to call nobody for me. As a matter of fact, I don't know a nigga I need to call somebody for me. So I never needed a nigga call for Suge. Suge's not around right now, man. You know my all time why I work? I work in a funeral home. Wow. Why well, I'm comfortable. When I say I'm comfortable, play it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You called me on three way. Uh, we call, yeah, y'all called me. Uh, yeah. Malik had uh, basically. Let's talk about that. Yeah, but we gotta talk about that because yeah. that happened on my watch. Yeah. You know, on my show, yeah, we was right. in Las Vegas, and I had really I was trying to understand because I didn't. I, you know, I love Malik too. Talking to him, I ain't gonna lie. Here, far as the conversation, he dope the poem, the right, everything about him when he come to what he do mm -hmm. hard. So, are you he's okay? A, he's a poet. Let's talk about it, man. So you basically, the bullying part, you know, and they was bullying Danny Boy. That's how I first got into it. Okay, see. okay. They was bullying Danny Boy. Definitely. And he out of Chicago. He out of Chicago. He from the West Side. So I got a couple of hard hitters I know from the West Side, and we came out here to holler at these motherfuckers. Like, you can't just treat a person like you want to treat them, because Pac was my man. Pac was like, yo, they be definitely out here bullying Danny Boy. I'm like, I'm on my way, Stone. That struck a nerve with you. A big nerve. And I didn't understand off, why. What, why? You no, know, no, I'm talking. About, I didn't understand why because I'm on the outside looking in. Right. But now that I hear your story, can we state what was said? It was like you like, was being bullied, and, and that somebody basically, called him. Basically, you he he had to come down, and and really, you know, like so, what did you? How did you guys approach that situation with them bullying Danny? How did you get your point across? <laughs> Went to death row. Okay. Like. It's not sanctified it, and hollow and hollow grounded to me. You know, if it need if it need to breathe and it can bleed, it can cease to exist. Yeah. So none of that superhero shit for me, G. I agree. None of that shit. No, I agree. So y'all gonna stop. You went straight. No, some bro. people ain't going. So we'll straighten this out. Was, just like was, I straighten this out on the phone with his ass. Okay, let's talk Malik's about it. Malik's a poet. Great poet, great poetry, great words. Has nothing to do with nobody I know from this city who's gonna call him. I don't know a nigga in this city that'll call them when they got a problem. Unless they have a problem with writing or literature. That's one thing. I gotta say this, in his defense, say, say when it. I looked up his stuff like I looked up yours, mm -hmm. it was this guy that came on the Breakfast Club and I cannot remember his name, but he spoke Highly of the fact of he came to interview in Chicago. Okay, yeah, Malik Youssef. I don't know if you know him. Mm -hmm. He yep. really he organized the whole thing. Mm -hmm. He organized all the interviews with the gang members. He was right there. A lot of times he was right there on scene, like poking at him, get him to talk. And when he did, Malik got all of the all of the gang members together. So everybody what? put all of the major Nobody players together. Nobody give a fuck. And Nobody give them, all of us can do that. All of y'all. I'm a gay nigga, and you could do nigga, that. Nigga, I packed this motherfucking block up. That don't mean nothing. Wow. Now I'm not, I'm not negating away from what he did, but to say that like everybody I know, I'm for sure is more powerful than the niggas he know. Wow. Period. Every nigga I know is more powerful than the niggas he think he know. Is that just? So I don't need him to call nobody for me. As a matter of fact, I don't know a nigga I need to call somebody for me. So I never needed a nigga call for Suge. Suge's not around right now, man. You know my all time why I work. I work in a funeral home. Wow. Why well, I'm comfortable. When I say I'm comfortable, play it. I don't need nothing. I've never needed no nigga. Like I'm, I stand behind what I'm. That don't mean I'm tough. But I do know that when at the end of the day, when it's time to leave here, we all go in that back room in that cold room. That's right. And I, more than likely, I'll be dressing their ass before somebody be dressing me. Wow, man! I just like I said. The, the way that the story, because Suge, he had gotten shot in the leg. That even came out on my shit. As the spirit guides me, you know, to be late and to leave my bags, I run directly into Suge. And this is, this is six months, no, five, four, four or five months after the shooting. Mm. And, you know, and I'm surprised that I got, I went to jail for that because I didn't shoot him. Right, that part. I mean, look at the law. Look, look what the courts say. The courts say I didn't shoot him. I say I didn't shoot him. 
Do I know who shot him? Probably. Who shot you? And I, am I going to tell who shot JR? I'm not going to tell. Yeah, no ops. You know? That's not what it is. You know, you got shot in the leg, fam. After all the bad shit you did to so many people, you get shot in your motherfucking leg. This means there's angels with you, boy. For real. This means there's angels with you. You get shot in the leg, fam. You don't deserve a leg shot, nigga. You ain't earned that, but that's that's the mercy of a law, though. So you get a leg shot. And how I go to jail for that, man? Wow. How I go to jail? How, how do I go to jail for that? He didn't shoot you. He didn't get, man, get out of here with that shit and trying to, what? Like, that's another goofy to me, just like with this other thing. Like, who wants to be known for that? You better stop saying, like, the, when he did that conversation, there's a lot of people I had to call to calm down some shit with him. Wow. Like, so if you want to be known for, you know, these interviews is fun, and I get slack from stuff that I say. Yeah. You think niggas threaten me and say what they're going to do and all of that. But you got to be careful what you're saying about some real niggas. Damn, man, this Chicago. I've never needed a nigga to, I ain't never been bullied. And if I get bullied, I'm going to let y'all know. I swear to God, I'm going to tell everybody because I'm gonna, first I'm going to tell them. So when I go to court from blowing your brains out, at least I came. I'm going to come out and play my whole shit. I'm gay. I'm scared. All of that. You tried to rape me and I killed you. D <laughs> now you got me thinking about yeah, something. Yeah, you listen, fuck along. I'm ticking up here because... <laughs> Academics and Saucy Santana been into it, man. And, and he cried because of Saucy, you know, applying the pressure on him. You know, for as uh, he's he's gay, Saucy is gay, and then Saucy is basically now kind of tormenting him, saying he'll rape him and all kind of stuff. No. Oh, wait a minute, now, now Yuck. my boy, my boy crying because Yuck. he feel like okay, he being bullied by. No, he probably is. He probably is. And he, he can't say you. nothing back because he say the LGBTQ. Yeah, he can. Man, if he say something. Man, don't nobody care about that shit. Man, you a man. This man talking, man, go whoop that man ass. And you don't think they'll look at it no man, way. what they gonna do, man? That's your audience? Do you think he could whoop him? Probably not. <laughs> That's the embarrassment. That's you don't want to go out there and get whooped by a nigga with fingernails on. <laughs> Makeup, man. That's a big nigga. That's Santa's a big, a big nigga. nigga. And so that's why you, do you think that's why he crying? No disrespect. You know what I'm saying? No, do you like being called a nigga? It was, I don't want to be messing up know. pronouns. I'm just saying. I'm all messed up with pronouns and shit. Like I don't do that, none of that shit. I don't know him like that, but I do know <laughs> nigga crying, man. I was tripping off that. I'm like, damn, man, he getting emotional about that, bro. Well, he probably just scared, man. When you scared, like, because again, I people say stuff about people all the time. What is he so. You know, because he say stuff about women. He talk about a lot of people. I would tie a saucy ass up if I was him. As much as he talked about women, he better. He better say something back. He better say something back. Ain't nothing like getting closed down. If you getting closed down by us, it ain't the LGBT shutting you down. That's it, saucy Santana that's shutting saucy you down. Santana shutting you down. Saucy. <laughs> Whoa, saucy, saucy Santana, man. He done, he done made his boy. I guess he's seen academics coming. Like I'm for the hell of this nigga, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, one thing, one thing, you know, you know, hey, hey leave, leave them LGBT, leave, leave it alone, man. You don't, wanna, you don't want nobody be talking about you. If you want to be talked about and, and get into it with somebody, but that's and why then you got to remember, you got to remember too, right? Just because a person's gay doesn't mean like all my uncles and my brothers and my cousins and the niggas that killed, they not gay. <laughs> they're not gay at all And they love me So they ain't trying so to hear it So they're not coming They don't They will come to a gay party And clean it out They're not for the play <laughs> so, about boy, They don't boy. care about nothing No Not today and not tomorrow all. And I'm grateful for that No that's fair. I don't brag up man I think it's about how you treat people mm -hmm. You know what I mean Everything that I've said in interviews Is my story If that's you right. mad about how I talk And how I say it Flip the channel Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.